Today I'm back with my Datsun 280Z. This car is almost ready to go to a rallycross. Everything is working and it should be ready to go onto the road, but I need to do something about the wheels and tires. If you remember in a previous video, I just threw these wheels and tires on temporarily because the ones that came with the car were flat. Today, let's put an appropriate set of tires on this car and maybe take it out for a test. These Koenig wheels are what I've chosen to run. These are 15 by seven inch. And these wheels are designed specifically for a Datsun Z car. I chose 15 inch because it jumps me up into a much larger selection for tires. I looked around at a lot of tires and I was hoping to put a real rally tire on the car, but it seems that modern rally cars run tires that are not as large of a diameter, overall diameter as the tires that this car needs. I have a friend who does rallies with a 280Z and they recommended this size tire. And so I have chosen the Bridgestone Blizzax in 195-65 R15. Now these are sent usually stacked on top of each other and the tires get squashed down. So I have these blocks in the tires and these are sitting out in the sun to expand them to make these easier to mount. Let's grab a wheel and see if we can get one of these tires on. I'll install the valve stem. These are nicely painted black wheels and I don't want to mess them up. So put a paper towel there. Now I have my tire and this is pretty hot to the touch because it's been outside. I want to line my dot up with the valve stem. Get that dot lined up as close as I can. We'll see if we can seat the beads. Now I need to put the valve core back in. I'll get the other ones done, and then we can see what these look like on the car. This next tire shows you why I was expanding them. You can see that it barely comes up to this lip design. All wheels are going to be different, but the specs of this tire says it should mount on this size of a wheel. And when I try to put air in it, the air just has too many places to escape, and it's not wanting to inflate. Okay, there we go. And that's why I wanted to expand them first to make this an easier process. How good does that look now? 
I'm sure this gap here will get smaller as I go over bumps because having just had the car in the air, the tires are actually holding the car up a little bit right now. So this should settle down. Let's take it outside and try it out. Looks like the car is ready to be entered into its first rally cross. Obviously the car is not done. There's plenty more that I'm going to do to this car. So don't worry. There are more videos coming. For example, the car only has an open differential right now. It would be ideal to have a welded or a limited slip differential, but I think I should just enter the car into a rally cross. We can see how it performs and then we can see how it improves as I make the changes. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.